well, apparently I've been recording that whole time. That wasn't the, that wasn't the intention. Fortunately, I have battery enough. Oh well, I did uh, Copenhagen City by night at the beginning of the year. I'm pretty sure it had the same temperature back then in March or something. It's not as cold as it was then yet, but it will be very soon. And uh, I just put on the music back then and just drove through the, the parts of the city that looks the most cool with all the lights and all that. But now I thought I had to go uh, for a ride through the areas where people are going out. Just to see some people and yeah. Take a look at the life I once thought I needed. It is just a matter of growing old. You get some other interest and stuff like that. So let's see if people are out now that it's cold. You don't have to have a reason to go out. You just have to need a little drink, some beer, stuff like that. I don't do it too often. I don't like having my day after that ruin. I'm gonna sound really old and grumpy when I say this. But that's actually how it is. I don't need my weekend to be ruined. Oh, by the way, the sound is great here. Oh, it would have been better if I could just have fired it up. So this is where you go out in Copenhagen when you go, look at that, the masses are insane. I've been out here so many times. Never thought I'd be riding this street on a motorcycle on a Friday night. And the thing is, in Denmark it's illegal to have your tent advisor on after the street city lights turn on. So I can't be, I can't be doing a creeper. I can't be looking at people without them noticing that I'm actually looking at them. Plus the GoPro is blinking red with a huge red flashlight. So there's that. Could have been cool to see if some of the guys were out. They would spot me and run out in front of the car. Oh, look at that. Tight leathers. Where you go out and where all the buses go and where all the trains go, what is those? Hi Linus! What are the odds of that? That was actually someone that I knew. That is the randomest thing ever. I think I've had what I needed. Maybe I'm gonna stop somewhere in city to just have a look at the sights. Mount the camera on the suction cup to get some footage of me now that I've had a, a lot of video talking. I'm not ranting about anything. But I like the the cozy way that some of our that some of our American vloggers they can just hang out. So if they stop like Walter terrific when he stops and just talks to people, I'd love to do that. But I'm guessing it requires or it helps that people know who you are. Because I say then they and they actually understand why you're stopping to like reach out for them. I guess that's that helps too. But right now, I think I'm just gonna go home. It's been a nice talk. For, uh, for some of the next videos that's gonna come up, it's gonna be maybe some collaboration with some people about hanging out, driving each other's bikes. I've got planned for next season to do some first rides with some of the dealerships to get on some bikes of a better quality than just friends' bikes, no offense. And I'm trying to do some collabs with some of the, the riders across the country. And now I 
I need to be cautious when I go up this area. Man school pool for the star wall. Og gå i sko Og få folk til at glo På så er der nogle sko Damn! That was fine I was actually robbed on the bridge we just passed Uh... Three... Four... Three years ago I made the mistake of Taking the... Making the decision to go down this way all alone As you can see it's dark areas when there's no cars Ugh, I forgot that. This is called uh, Istedgade. Right ahead, right there. That's where all the hookers are. So, if you want to go out and get a hooker, this is the area you want to go to. And that right over there is a police station. I'm actually not sure I'm allowed to drive here. Oh well, there's no sirens or anything going off yet. Yeah, we are allowed because we can turn right here. So let's do that. That's funny because I actually rode this way when I got here the last time and I think I turned down right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and then go left. Oh well. I'm going to cut out until I get to some of the more interesting areas and then I'm going to go home. See you guys. Uh oh. Something has happened. And we don't know what it is. But apparently we are directed to go around As you can see I'm still here And the cars, police cars are just around the corner. I have no idea what happened There's some fire trucks and nobody's screaming or anything so everything seems very calm So, yeah I'm guessing it's like a fiery fire situation where they have to get everybody out. So now I'm just going to mount the camera on the bike and get some footage on my way back. Later.